Hello everybody, it's Several Level 4 for another episode of Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. In the last episode, we defeated Captain Crossbones, one of my favorite characters in the game. And we got our second stone. Unfortunately, the next stone's gonna be a little bit till we get to it. Uh, one thing I just wanna show you, that's not the button. Um, I'm over here. This is an area you need to fly to. There's a cave here that I overlooked, and the reason why is because there's not much for us to do, but I figured I may as well show you, because there's a cool guy here. I'm pretty sure I didn't show, yeah, because we didn't get that chest. Uh, but anyway, let's talk to this guy. A visitor, yo -ho! We don't get many visitors out here. No, 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 not too many at all, if any. Oh, what's that? I spy a cauldron. Ha ha, the boy's a wizard, a visiting wizard boy. Huh? You know about cauldrons? Ha ha ha, there's nothing I don't know about cauldrons, young man. You're not the only wizard in this cave, you see. Though I must say your alchemic skills look like they need a bit of work. Come back when you've learned your way around that cauldron of yours, and I'll teach you some real alchemy. Um, actually, you have to come back here after you beat the game. Yay! Anyway, let's just, uh, get this chest. And we get a medal of fortitude. That's kind of cool. Let's see what that does. That is not the medals. Who uses these? You could use anything. Um, that's cool. Plus six, plus six. It's a battler's badge, too. Uh, yeah, why not? Oh, wow. It's just like, no, that's what you need. Uh, one second. You. All right, the Nightblade. So we got the Nightblade. We stole Nightblade from Captain Crossbones. It has a lot of attack, uh, but it also deals like 20% damage back to you, which kind of stinks a lot. Uh, instead, we are going to just give him the Pirate's Cutlass again. Um, so yeah, uh, we will give you back the Royal Spear. Uh, with noble attire. 2639. Uh, do I want to give that to you? Yeah, you know what? Let's give you that. Yes, that gives a huge boost in, in magic defense. Uh, do I want... His accuracy is high enough that I think I can give him the, the better armor, too. Uh, yeah, you have to be careful now in optimizing, guys, because the Night Blade is gonna go as the... Like, the suggested thing, and you just don't want that. Uh, I'm gonna keep the Woodsman's Knife because he's still a magic attacker. Stripey Cloak. Give you the Green Man's Cloak. And... Really? You want to give him the Battler's Badge? Eh, yeah, I guess so. Uh, do you... No, I like... Nah, you know, let's give him that. Okay. Yeah, so the Whalefish Tusk we really don't need on him anymore. So let's give him the Beetle's Horn back. Do you... Yeah, we'll give you the armor because your accuracy doesn't drop that much and you don't need anything. Okay. Sorry. Uh, you know, I'm just going to use char chest to make sure there's no green chest in here. I doubt there is, but it's a good idea to check. No, there is not. Is that counting this guy as a quest? That's weird. He's like glowing blue on the, uh, on the map there. Or he was anyway. Um, there's going to be stuff, like I said, at, uh, at the end of the game. Anyway, I've wasted enough of your time. Uh, let's head out to the Winter Wonderland. We're just gonna go straight towards the next our next goal. How about that? How about that? <coughs> Luckily, we've like explored pretty much everywhere else we need to be at this point. Um, everywhere else meaning like all the other surrounding islands, so we can just head straight to the island that we want to be on. Uh, so that's cool. Or should I say the main island? <coughs> I love just flying like this. It's so fast, it's nice. Um, I guess if you want to save time, you can warp over to Skull Mountain and then fly from there, but, I mean, really, you don't save that much. Um, I just like how this place looks, too. I always like ice-type areas that are at least done well, but here, like, just the mountains and, and the color and everything, but, at, uh, yes, so we have to head into this cave or talk to one of these yeti things. Hello! Ning! 
Morning to you, like morning. You cannot be entering without the permission of the elder of the village of Yule, yes? You do not know where I'm speaking, go simply south, yes? Okay. And by simply south, uh, this is actually uh, not simply. Um, I just want to get this thingy right over here. Um, but yeah, we're, we're, like I said, we're not going to be heading, we're not going to be heading, uh, heading towards that, uh, the stone anytime soon, because a new village means, means a few things. Number one, it means that we're going to be running into enemies and, and stuff. The village is right over here, by the way. Um, it also means that we're going to have new quests, and it also means that we're going to be running into a few characters. The gate's locked. <laughs> yeah, we actually have to go around the other side, which is kind of funny. The game knows that we can just fly though, so um, before I do that, I just want to get this because I believe this is a snowflake. Hmm. Indeed it is. Snowflakes are, I wouldn't say they're rare, but they're hard to come by and it's definitely an item that you want to pick up as many as possible because as I had said in the past, they are used for uh, crafting a good many items, but anyway. Yule, home of the snow folk. The name is a pun, like like Yuletide, you know, the Yule. Wow, this place is amazing. It sure is. Look at the lights coming through the snow. It's beautiful. I know, right? It's, I love this town. And look at those big fluffy things. I've never seen one before. What are they? Them? Oh, they're called Tomtas, ain't they? You only get the bug here to the winter island and everywhere else is too warm for them to say. Really? Wow, they're so cute. Yeah, yeah, they're lovely, but can we talk about this inside? I think I can feel my blood turning to ice. A second, I'll second that emotion. Freezing my bits off I am. <laughs> let's let's get inside. Uh let's let's just follow. Follow, follow. Hello! For now, we're just gonna follow the, uh... Uh, I don't know where I'm going there. Okay, talk to you. Hello, sir. Oh, hello to you. You are being... You are being Oliver, yes? Crikey, Ellie boy, there you are with the thumbs for buddies? <laughs> you never even told us. They're secretive, you are. No, you, uh, I don't... Who are you? How do you know my name? <clears throat> Hold on one second. Apologies. I am learning it from my teacher. Yes, she is being your biggest fan. Your teacher? My teacher, yes, she is coming to our village to study the ancient archaeology. I am being her pupil, yes? Hello to you. I am being Ake. I think that's an ah sound as opposed to ache. Ake. Or Aki. I don't know. You're studying archaeology, but you're a snow person. Yes, a tumpty, yes. I'm being Ake. <laughs> Hello there, Ake. Professor Tabitha. Perhaps you'd like to introduce me to your new friends. Oh, teacher, hello to you. You're being very late, yes? Oh, oh my! Oliver! Goodness, this is such a privilege. Imagine the great wizard Oliver coming all the way out here to this frozen corner of the world. Professor, I just love that. But oh, how perfectly rude of me. I must introduce myself. I'm Tabitha. I'm a researcher and a professor. I've been reading all about your exploits in the Daily Yarn. You're quite the news personality. The Daily... The Daily Yarn, eh? <laughs> That's how you Grimalkins like what's going on in the world, ain't it? Well, aren't you a knowledgeable little thing? Yes, the Daily Yarn is the premier news provider for the Grimalkin across the world. And lately, we've all been glued to the tales of your adventures. Gee, that's... Thank you, ma'am. It's kind of embarrassing, but thanks. What perfect nonsense. Embarrassing. Don't be silly. You're a hero. By the way, I have something to tell you. You're here in search of one of those magic stones to help restore your wand to its former glory, aren't you? How did you... Yeah, that's exactly why we're here. Then you're in luck. I'm a professor of archaeology, you see. I'm going to tell you everything I know about Mornstar. Crikey, what are the chances of that? It is a turn up for the books. 
<laughs> Not at all. Now, according to my research, Mornstar was fashioned by none other than the Wizard King himself. And just prior to settling down to his eternal slumber, he divided the incredible power of the wand and sealed it inside three magic stones. The stones were entrusted to his most faithful followers in order to prevent the wand's power from falling into the wrong hands. The wrong hands. His most faithful followers, huh? Do you think that creature we fought on Tombstone Trail could have been one of them? Now, now, concentrate. Prepare yourself for the most important part of what I have to tell you. Yeah, actually, was Apep a, you know, faithful guardian? He seems kind of evil. If my theory is correct, one of those followers, and the stone they were entrusted with, is in a cave beyond this village known as the Glittering Grotto. Bingo! <laughs> Bingo, that's... I'm sorry. Uh, that must be where the map of the stones is pointing us to. Yeah, the map of the stones? You mean... You mean you knew precisely where it was already? So I haven't helped you at all. How inexpressibly disappointing. No, that's not true. We didn't know anything about the Wizard King or his followers or any of that stuff. Thank you, Professor. Professor Tapitha, what kind of place is this gl glittering grotto? Well, as I mentioned, it's a cave just beyond the Yule. A cave marked by an ancient map says the Maw of the Mountain King. My theory is that the Mountain King and the Wizard King are one and the same. Anyway, the cave has the power to suck objects into its darkest depths. All of which leads me to theorize that one of the Wizard King's magical stones may well be hidden in the deepest part of the grotto. Uh-oh, I've got a funny feeling about this. Yes, I'm sure you have, you great big wimp. It's called Terra. No, it's not. Shut up. It's intrepidness and uh, excitement. <laughs> Before you go rushing off in pursuit of the stones, you'll need permission of the village elder to enter, in t to enter the glittering grotto. The village elder? <laughs> Precisely, but he's away at a gathering of the elders at the moment. You'll have to wait until tomorrow to meet him. I was hoping to be able to accommodate you at my home, but I'm afraid there's not enough room there to swing a cat. It's okay, you've done more than enough for us already. Thank you so much, Professor Tabitha. Don't be silly, it's me who should be thanking you. It's not every day you get to provide a renowned hero with help in his legendary quest. There should be room for you all at the inn, just inside the entrance to the village. I wish you a perfectly wonderful night's rest. Oh, okay, so I guess we're going to head to the inn. What do you have to say? Well, my teacher is getting excited. She is beginning to talk like a cat. But do not be telling anyone this is being a secret, yes? She talks like a cat? What? Anyway, we're all sorts of solutions, and you know what that means. New bounty hunt, Sleigh Bell Hell. Yeah, so we have to go to the Sleigh Bell Islands. There's going to be more bounties as time goes on, but right now, this is what we got. Let's see, anything new on the message board? Yes, quite a few. Go ahead and ask, uh, yeah, so Yule Yule and more Yule and Yule Yule and Yule 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 Yule. Anyway, let's, uh, before we do any of that though, we are going to just proceed a little bit with the story anyway. We're still freezing. We have to fix that. Oh, hey, Derwin. Hey there. Hey, gosh, sticky ding darn it. Yeah, if you've been having trouble with the Derwin quest, I would suggest using all your um, stamps to try to get that uh, familiar recruitment thing. But anyway, let's stay the night. Welcome to the Kratz Cradle. Yeah, we're going to stay here. We don't really need to, but it's in order to progress the story. Also, look, Mondia, where's its companion? And that word that we're... These sometimes love being nice to people, ain't it? Uh, now that we're in a new area, we get, and, and we stay at the inn, we get more Wizard's Companion page for the regions of the world. What do we get here? Well, well, it is you, the famous Alicia. To what do I owe this pleasure? I see. So you have come to do battle. How very unwise. And you a great sage. 
What do you hope to achieve? You know that all magic is powerless in my presence. <laughs> Foolish girl, I have just the place for you. A prison of eternal darkness. <laughs> Well, that didn't end well. <laughs> huh. Crikey, sounds like a proper stinker of a dream, Ollie boy. It was... Shadar was there. Mom, she was... she. Shadar, he, he defeated her, and there was nothing I could do. Calm down, Oliver, it was just a dream. He said, right, Dolly boy, and anyway, it wasn't your ma'am, was it? It was Alicia. Alicia, of course. I guess it was, huh? Sorry, everybody. We will save her, we have to. Of course we flippin' do, it's the whole reason we're on the journey, ain't it? Yes, it is. Great, glad we cleared that up. Can we go and see the village elder now? As we better get going, oh, I asked the nice lady who runs the inn. She said his house is over by that big frozen pond in the back of the village there. Yay! Yay! Oh, treasure. Food! Alright. Why would you put a burger in a chest anyway? Unless I guess that's just what they use anyway. We're still freezing. It's so cold. It's so cool. See, not many games actually address the fact that, like, a cold area is actually cold, you know? Also, we're leaving footprints, and I really like that. I also like that we're on a giant frozen pond. And all of these things are adorable. Just look at that. The Tomtas are just the most cutest. It's... it's I love this village so much. I just... We got a roar Borealis there, you got the snow falling. Got Oliver freezing to death. It's perfect. Okay, let's head into the village elder's house. All the houses are igloos too. It's 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 fantastic. Anyway, this guy is big and old and doesn't have eyes anymore. Ah, uh, I am thinking that you are travelers, yes? The ones who are wanting to head into the glitter glittering grotto. Professor Tabitha told me you would be coming. That's us, sir. So would it be all right if we went inside? It would be being all right, but the terrain to north of here is being bitterly cold and very, very snowy. Hey, look who's in the background there. Don't worry, don't worry about that man. The kids like Ollie Boy love a bit of snow, ain't it? Mm, it seems you're determined to, to go no matter what I am saying. Am I thinking correctly? Um, I guess you are, sir. Ho, ho, ho. Then I'll be opening the gate for you now. You should be heading out before the temperature is dropping further. Thank you, Mr. Elder, sir. Oh, I was nearly forgetting. Yes, you would surely be dying without them. Huh? Please, to wait a moment, I am bringing them to you right away. Hmm? Oh, tiny, <laughs> this is proper cozy, like. <laughs> <laughs> yep, we got the set of winter clothes. Which is really nice, actually. It's just pays attention to the fact that, hey! Maybe it's cold outside. This kind of goes along with the set of clothes that we got in Castaway Cove, you know? Um, you know, there it's, you know, everyone is, is dressed more summer-like. I'm just, uh, and yeah, technically also the clothing we had in Hamlin. So pretty much, I mean, we had our, we got, we got our, um, we got our clothes for this world in the first town in Ding Dong Dell. That's where we got like the, uh, the cape and everything. Um, then the second town, well, I guess Alma Moon, we didn't get anything, unfortunately. Um, Castaway Cove, we got the, uh, the bathing suit. In Hamlin, we were wearing the pig suit for a while, and, uh, here now, I guess Tahiti, we didn't have anything either. So it's not every town, but it's just nice to see that the game pays attention to, uh, the location. Because many games would not care whether you're wearing... Wait... Uh, I, I, for some reason I did chart chests instead of spring lock, but it doesn't really matter because I need chart chests anyway. Um, yay, blunt jam. But yeah, it's just cool that they pay attention to that. Let's go talk to Horus. Hey, 
Hey guys. What do I do? What is wrong with him? I'm hating to go outdoors. What are you saying? Something the matter? Basman becomes afraid to go outside. Uh. Yeah, so apparently he doesn't have courage anymore. Alright, he lost restraint. Oh! Lucky for you. That is the one thing that I have left to give you. Okay, I'm feeling suddenly warm. Wow. Thank you. And Snow White ice creams. Nice. And three stamps. Awesome. And Horace, how are you doing? Uh, <laughs> I was about to use nature's tongue. Um, spirit medium. There we go. Hello, Oliver. Enjoying the snow? And what about the aurora? Amazing, isn't it? I'm sure it sure is. Never saw anything like it before. So flippy gold out there, man. How the heck can you stand around gulping at the sky in that chill? I don't feel the cold, do I, stupid? <laughs> but I still ended up coming inside, I suppose. <laughs> of course you did. It's cold enough to freeze your ghoulies out there. Uh, 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 your ghoulies off out there, man. Uh, warm in here, though. Ain't it funny since I made it out of the snow? <laughs> Those igloos are built by snow people, the Tomta. Some say it's, uh, that it's the warmth in the Tomta's hearts that keep the igloos so cozy and warm. Could it be tr It could be true, you know. I reckon them walking fur pie is almost as friendly as we are, as we fairies. Not quite, of course, but close. You should try their ice stew. A bowl of that in the comfort of a nice warm igloo is an experience you'll never forget. Ice stew? Yes, it's a hearty stew with an icy bite. It's made from those flowers there. Yeah, these cool flowers, which we actually have some, I think. What are they called again? I can't seem to remember. Let's make it your challenge for the time, shall we? Go on, tell me what the flowers in front of me are called. They're definitely the wizard's companion somewhere. Come and talk to me and you found out. Okay, well, let's go search in the wizard's companion. How about that? Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, creature some familiars, provisions? No, it's probably in the alchemy section. Uh, what page are we on? No. Um, no, maybe it is in the provisions. I don't know, where are we over here? 141. 38, 30. Yeah, so these are like all the stuff we can get. Um, okay, so it's somewhere. Yeah, see up here, Blizzard Bloom. I'm pretty sure we had one of those somewhere. Um, but yeah, it says where the source is. If you, I don't think we looked at this yet, but if you're looking for the alchemy stuff and you're trying to figure out where the heck to find them, uh, it says what enemies you can get them from. So that's pretty cool. Also, whether like naturally occurring means that you can find it on a uh, draw point, which is interesting because I really need base spells. Uh, but yes, Blizzard Bloom. Pretty sure we have at least one of those. Let's could have also just gone to our inventory then. Uh, yes, we do. We have two of them. But anyway, let's talk to Horace again. So that one you don't even need to. Uh, go to the uh, um, Wizard's Companion for you just need to have picked it up at some point somewhere Yes, that was it that was what uh, th that was what they were called blizzard blooms grow all over this region a lot of the creatures even carry them around Oh, I need to give you a new spell don't I how about something to help you in battle you received the cloudburst spell ah <sighs> Thanks Horace Sure, it'll come in handy. You probably use the Cloud Burst more for its ability to nix all your enemies than for the damage it does. It's perfect for wizards who don't like playing catch the fireball. You know, beginners. <laughs> Sends right up your street alley, boy. <laughs> I tried to mix Frostbite and Cloud Burst together once to see if I could make it snow. Did it work? Sort of. Well, it was more like hail, really. Great big sh razor sharp hail. It's <laughs> so nice to see the snow again. <laughs> Reminds me of something, though I can't think what. If only I could remember. Don't fret, man. Your ghost ain't bound to some memory loss. Uh, bound to be some memory loss involved in ghoulment process. I'm sure it was nothing important. I hope you're right. Sorry, I got a bit distracted. I think I'll go and climb a mountain or something to clear my head. See you. Climb a mountain, huh? I wonder where he's gonna turn up next. But anyway, 
Um, yeah, so Cloudburst does neutral damage, and it has a chance of uh, nixing them, which is pretty cool. I don't think you can actually combine it with uh, with the you know, combine the spells like uh, Horace said, but it'd be kind of cool if you did. Um, wait, is there a pot in there? I think that's what the the chart chest is showing us. Wow, is it really 25 minutes already? Yes, there is. Okay. Stop walking so slowly indoors. Um, but okay. So yeah, so let's... Yeah, there we go. Uh, let's just uh, loot the town, and in the next episode, I guess, we'll... Uh... <laughs> let's just loot the town. That sounds wonderful. Um, let's see. The green chest is on top of that igloo over there, so it looks like... Looks like we have to get it from over here. Usually it requires like a, uh, you know, straight, straight view. There we go. And we get a soul shield gem. I don't remember that trick actually. Um, nope, don't remember it at all. Okay. Let's get the chest over. Can we get the chest over here? Oh, it's our favorite couple who keep getting into horrible trouble. Let me just get this and I'll run away now. Seriously, they 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 just do not have luck. Um, okay. Yes, yeah, so there's a lot of a lot of actually quests to do here. We're just gonna get the. Uh, it doesn't count towards completion, but I just want to see what's in the in the pot to begin with. Nick's be gone. Okay. It's if you, you know, don't like, um, New York basketball teams. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's, a, that's a joke, a sports joke, you get the joke, it's a sports joke. I don't think we can actually get this chest right now. Because somebody's in the way! He, he moves later. Wait, that is... yeah, okay. But seriously, like, he's standing right there. Uh, anything? No, that's it for the uh, chests here. Okay, so that's going to do for this episode. In the next episode, we are going to go around taking people's hearts and seeing how to help them and maybe if we can help them at all in the first place. Anyway, this has been several till before. Standing next to a Tomta. Oh, you're going to the Sol Seam. Actually, we could probably challenge the Sol Seam again. Anyway, this has been several till before. Goodbye, everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs>